having a merry heart in a Martha world. The thought intrigues you. Deep inside of you, there is a hunger, a calling to know and love God. You're not after more head knowledge. It's heart-to-heart -heart intimacy you long for. It's as though you stand at the bottom of a ladder stretching up to heaven, eager but daunted. You name the rungs with spiritual things you know you should do. Study the Bible, pray, fellowship. He's up there somewhere, you say, swaying slightly as you peer upward, uncertain how to begin or if you even want to attempt the long, dizzy climb. Exhausted, you wonder how to find the strength or time. Nurturing your spiritual life seems like one more duty, one more thing to add to a life that is spilling over with responsibilities. But to do nothing means you will miss what your heart already knows. There is more to this Christian walk than you've experienced, and you're just hungry enough, just desperate enough to want it all. Because of Jesus, we can have the friendship with God we long for, but it isn't found in what we do, what ladder we climb. It's only found in what Jesus did for us. Because when we couldn't make it up to Him, He came down to us, showing us what life was meant to be in its fullest form, allowing us to enter a relationship with God that we could never earn, never deserve. A relationship meant to leave us forever changed set free from the awful torment of striving and climbing, yet never being enough. Because the life we long for, the life we need, isn't found in doing more for Jesus. It's found at His feet, soaking in His love, drinking in His wisdom, just like Mary did that long ago day in Bethany. The better part she discovered can be ours as well, for love has come down. And because of Jesus, you and I can have a merry heart in a Martha world.